everybody, my name is Emily and I am the Education Specialist here at Zoo Montana. Now today, I have a story for you from the Billings Public Library Family Reading Program all about wolf families. Now after we finish this story, we'll talk a little bit about our wolves here at Zoo Montana and their family dynamics. Today, we will be reading the book The Way Home for Wolf by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. As a rainbow of lights flickered soft in the night, dusting diamonds of ice in a desert of white, the wild whipping wind, it whistled its tune to a howling of wolves and a shimmering moon. And the loudest ow in this echoing song was a wolfling called Wilf at the heart of the throng. He loved to be fierce and longed to be grown. He liked to try everything all on his own. Look at me, I am big, I am tough, he would growl. Well, he showed off his strength and practiced his growl. One night, it was time for the wolves to move on. New folks had moved in and their shelter was gone. So they left right away to find a new cave. They would have to walk far and they'd have to be brave. Let's go, shouted Wilf, I am ready to lead. You're too small laughed the wolves. It's an elder we need. One day, they advised, you will guide from the front. I suppose, muttered Wolf, with a huff and a grunt. They struggled through snow as high as their flanks and leapt over rocks as they scaled icy banks. Wolf gave his all to keep pace and keep up, but strong-willed as he was, he was still just a pup. He kept dropping back with each clamor and climb as the pack journeyed farther away all the time. Exhausted and breathless, he strayed off the track when a blizzard blew in and he lost his way back. Wilf longed to howl help and to holler it loud, but his throat was too hoarse and his heart was too proud. He lay on the tundra, his tail curled up tight. A blanket of stars was his bed for the night. Until... Crack! went the ice. Crack! And crack! Wilf jumped to all fours with a deafening shriek. He stuck out the claws on every limb. He had to hold on because Wilflings can't swim. Then he fell and he fell, rolling and spinning. It felt like the end, but it was just the beginning. Since somebody down there had heeded his scream and she swooped from beneath like a watery dream. I'll help you, she called, just reach for my horn, a majestic and magical sea unicorn. Wilf's pride washed away and he stretched out a paw as she lifted him gently back onto the shore. Don't worry, she sung before dipping her brow. My friend, Mr. Walrus will help you out now. And there, right behind him, a huge tusky fellow lifted his whiskers and let out a bellow. To the ridge, he proclaimed with his chin in the air, my friend, mighty muskox, will take you from there. And the waftings of fish and a very loud snort, their journey was made and their travel seemed short. And there, sure enough, on the ridge was the ox, who took Wilf as far as his friend, Arctic Fox who followed his nose through the trees to a goose, who guided him, honking, to this ancient moose. The moose knew these wilds like no other soul. He was steady and true in pursuit of their goal. As the twilight closed in, moose sang out a call to a flitting, fluttering, tiny fluff ball. A bear moth who showed Wilf the rest of the way to the place where this wolfling most wanted to stay. Thank you, Wolf waved as he rejoined his pack, and the wolves howled with joy that their wolfling was back. They huddled him and cuddled him close and fussed over which wolf had missed him the most. Wolf, he knew then that when all came together, the darkest of times are easy to weather. So he bowed to the narwhal, ox, walrus, and goose, and vowed to the fox and the moth and the moose, if I ever meet one who's strayed off their track, I will help them along by guiding them back. And true to his word, Wilf is different now, and his world seems much smaller and warmer somehow. Since wherever life takes you, wherever you roam, 
we're all just a handful of friendships from home. Here at Zoo Montana, we are lucky enough to have four gray wolves. Kali and Kalua, which are the white wolves that you guys see on exhibit here. And we also have two new arrivals named Simpson and Onyx. Simpson and Onyx are still fairly young. And so we're in the process of introducing them to Kali and Kalua so that they can form a healthy, safe pack dynamic. Wolves are social animals and they love to live in groups. It can range from three to four wolves all the way up to 20. Now these family pack dynamics are incredibly important, especially in the winter time. Food for wolves is often very scarce in the winter months and having more individuals in your family to help you find food increase the chances of having a successful hunt and a big warm dinner in your belly. Not only can having more individuals help you find food, but having more individuals in your pack can help you bring down bigger food. One individual wolf can't really kill an animal that big, but if you have three, four, or five, you can take down an animal the size of an elk, or maybe even a moose if you're feeling extra brave as a pack. The characteristic sound of a wolf is their howl. Now this howl can sound a little bit spooky, but it actually is a very important function in wolf family dynamics. Howls function to bond individuals of the pack together, to help them find each other if individuals get lost, and sometimes they just do it for fun, kind of like singing. If you would like more information about the Billings Public Library Family Reading Program, make sure to check out their website, which we will put in the caption right here.